Today on Karama. So you don't feel like your mom protected you as a child? He threw the peas in my face. She did nothing about it. Ashley just wants her mother to acknowledge her pain from childhood. Right now, you dead. See what I'm saying? You're 30 years ago. Cold. How do you get from the past? You have to take a cow. The past. But is she about to realize that was a big mistake? She do not care about I don't nothing. The past. Yeah, exactly. Ashley. You never apologize to take a And I'm really? not. Your daughter's dead to you and you don't care. If I had a knew she was gonna do all this, I wouldn't have kind. I'm just telling you. And I'm about to walk off in a minute. Plus, this man's wife says. He tried to bite her finger off. He chomped down on my finger. Eight months pregnant. Eight months pregnant. Now she's here to prove her child is really his. Sneaky conversations on the phone. His wife's phone will be unlocked. Two suspicious pictures. <laughs> and a DNA test will be unlocked. We have still this DNA outcome. <laughs> when Hurricane Ian happened, it forced Ashley and her daughters to move in with her mother, Regina. That's when the real storm started between this family. But the one thing they can all agree upon is that they know their relationship is toxic and they can't stand being around each other. Well, let's meet Ashley first to get her side of the story. So everyone, welcome Ashley to the show. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. Can I have a hug? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Please take a seat for me. Um, so, I gotta ask you, why did you call to be a guest on the show? Well, I just feel like I'm almost 40 years old, mm -hmm. and I want to be respected as a mother and an adult. Got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you feel like your mother doesn't respect you as an adult and a mother? No, she doesn't. Okay. So when did the problem start between you two? I want to say when I was about 14. Okay, what happened at that time? We were uprooted from Detroit, Michigan, and took to Birmingham, Alabama. Mm -hmm. In that time, she just always, to me, met the wrong man. Mm. So it's like the first guy she was talking to, I have a problem with peas. I don't like peas. They look like boogers to me. <laughs> and I told him, you know, she made food or whatever, and it was the peas. So he was like, um, you going to eat them peas? I'm like, no, I'm not. He threw the peas in my face. Mm. She did nothing about it. After that, I told him he wasn't my dad, and he fought me. He fought you. Yes. I'm the type of person where if I see a grown man fight my child, I'm going to help my child. Uh -huh. Instead, she's trying to break it up. And I feel like you should have been beating his ass. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't until then she left him alone. Got it. OK. Mm -hmm. So it was an incident where I was around 18. And she was dating another guy. One day, my mom was gone. And he ended up saying we were in an argument. He was like, bitch, shut up. I make you like your mother do. That Nothing was done about that. So you don't feel like your mom protected you as a child? No. Okay. Not to me, because she'll say, oh, I, um, I would never let this happen to my child, or I would never have this done to my child, but I've had things said and done to me that you did nothing about. Got it. And now it's um, when me and my girls moved back from Florida, we had to stay with her until my house got ready. I lost my car in Florida. That's the only thing I'm lacking is a car. I'm asking her, can you take me to work? Can you take me to work? Mm -hmm. It's, I'm paying you for gas, and you know I'm trying to save for my car, but you want me to pay you for your time as well. And I'm not understanding that, like, mm -hmm. it's like, I don't give a about you or your job. Mm -hmm. And action speaks louder than words. Yeah. So if you say I'm not, I don't give a, yeah. and you don't do it, that means you really mean it. Yeah. So yeah. it's like a lot of things is like, sometimes it come off as jealousy. I, when I moved to Florida and she finally brought my kids back, she was looking around, oh, this is nice. They gonna f mm. So it's like, when she left visiting me, my brother brought a house. She all on Facebook posting pictures. Mm. It's like, I never get a, I'm proud of you. And I wanna know why, like, why you respect my sibling more than you respect me. The things you say to me and my kids, you would never say. Did, is she a good grandmother? Yeah, to a certain extent, because you could be a good grandmother, but as soon as you get mad at my kids, you call them bitches. Mm. The same thing you say to me, you say to them. Does she show you affection? Mm, not all the time. It depends. Like, I can touch my mom like this. That's gay to her. Don't touch her. Mm. I can rub her shoulder or something like that. 
I don't, I don't want all that. Don't touch me. Like, oh, I hugged you. I said, Ma, you haven't hugged me in a long time. Oh, I have hugged you. I hugged you before I, we left Florida. Mm. I'm like, but before then, when have you hugged me? Yeah. It's like certain incidents where you can say you love somebody, you want respect, but it says in the Bible, honor thy mother, thy father, oh, but Jesus, also do not provoke your children. Y'all, y'all, y'all and my mom always provokes me. Mm. I can hear your mother backstage, so she has a lot to say about this. So everyone, well, let's go ahead and bring Regina out and meet her and get her point of view. Everyone, welcome Regina to the show. Really ask me. Like you bringing up shit over 30 years ago. That's the and thing. if you got issues with shit over 30 years ago, See what baby, I'm you need counseling, not me. What I need for you to do is grow the f- You damn near 40 years old, boo boo. And so the and things you don't that you have me, done, you're you dead never to this pop. day. Okay. Right now, you dead. 30 years ago, boo. How do you get from the past? You have to take a count. The past. You- Ashley just wants her mother to acknowledge her pain from childhood. You don't treat me like a mother. You- we could have talked about this. And we did. Home. And you No, we did. But is she about to realize that was a big mistake? Your daughter's dead to you and you don't care. Like I said, you dead. So when did the problem start between you two? I want to say when I was about 14. In that time, she just always, to me, met the wrong man. I'm the type of person where if I see a grown man fight my child, I'm gonna help my child. Uh-huh. Instead, she's trying to break it up, and I feel like you should have been beating his ass. So you don't feel like your mom protected you as a child? No. D- is she a good grandmother? Yeah, to a certain extent, because you could be a good grandmother, but as soon as you get mad at my kids, you call them I can hear your mother backstage, so she has a lot to say about this. So everyone, well, let's go ahead and bring Regina out. <laughs> you got <laughs> issues with over 30 years ago, see what baby. I said. And so the and things you that you have me. done, you're you dead never to this pop. day. Okay. Right now, you dead. See what I'm saying? You're dead. My truth and is And I not. will never See? break my neck to do else for you. That's You gonna I... bring up some over 30 years ago? Boo. How do you get from the past to the, you have to take a The past, we in the future. A, you have to take account for past. what you did. And if you, it's you old. need to go get counseling, boo It's boo-boo. old, it's go old. Go get you some counseling, baby. It's old. If you got them problems, you're 40. You calling me every day, take me here, take me there, oh, that's take a me lie. to work. I just started, you, you did two weeks ago, you got into it with me and told me, and me you don't give a about my job. And, and I can't. don't. Exactly. So? She do not care about I don't. nothing. And don't give a no. So you said that your daughter's dead to you and you don't care. Do you really mean that? I mean it. She you just killed that. that relationship. She killed it all. What did she say that would kill that relationship? All that old Girl, please. So just because she was talking about the past. I don't care. She ain't have to vent like that. She could have, we could have talked about this. And we did. Home. And you No, we did. And you so don't sit there and laugh. You, you didn't cuss me out in front of my aunt on the phone and told me what you just said now? The past. And, and what still? I you still never say the past, exactly. Ashley. Exactly. You never apologize or take a And I'm not. I'm she not. don't care. I'm not. She don't care. And I don't. Believe that, I don't. So how do you expect for someone to think that you love them when they don't take accountability Baby. for nothing? <laughs> you don't take accountability for nothing. You didn't, you never say it, Ashley, if you feel a certain way, I'm sorry I made you feel less than a child or less than a mother. You don't treat me like a mother, you don't treat me like an adult. Act like one. Can I ask you this, Regina? I understand that for you, the past is not important. But if she's saying it's important to her, why aren't you able just to say, I apologize and... Because I'm not. Okay. And it's over with, and I'm not apologizing for <laughs> Never have and never will. And she's not. And I'm not. And she means it. And that. I mean it. I know that my producers told me that recently you've helped your daughter. You've been A helping lot. her. A lot. I does everything. I kept her kids while she ran around from I Ohio to around. Detroit. I didn't Shut run up, around. I'm talking. I Let me around. talk. I didn't she run left around. with the Ohio. Then she went to Detroit. Then she ended up in Florida. Who had her kids? I did. And you choke slam my baby and my brother, my baby daddy. Right, and, exactly. I was stressed out. And so so you, 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 you harm your grandkid because you're stressed out. Whatever. Like I said, you did. And that's fine. 
That's do you, fine. Do you feel like Ashley appreciates you? No. Nope. How? When I still was sending you money, I even made sure well, you were straight for Mother's girl, Day. Stop, stop. Please, let's stop the lies. I just paid for your car when I got back for the you title. You paid me for living in my house, which you should have done. I what paid you for your have car done. to get bills. Fixed. I have bills. You and y'all made and extra I bills. Car. And I had, I had your job. car running for Girl, you. I don't give a damn what you talking you about. Still, it doesn't matter. I don't give a damn what you talking about because I'd have had your back. When? At a, Girl, keep, it's at a cost. Girl. You tell people you keep my kids. I have to pay you. I ain't never know Yeah, when you run into a club. I ain't never, I don't need a club. Why are you lying? When do I go to the and club? And if you work at hell, yeah, you got to pay me. My time ain't free. So I want to know, Regina, I know you accepted to come on the show today. What were you... if I had a new she was going to do all this, I wouldn't have came. I'm just telling you. And I'm about to walk off in a minute. What, what, what was it? And why don't you want to anymore? I'm done. Okay. And why? I'm done. You she can't me. explain to you why she let the well, men say that told. to me. She can't explain to you can't why that man wasn't. I can't stop nobody from what they say to you. I wasn't but there. But you didn't do nothing about it what either. What the f you want me to do? You been whooping their ass, whoop their ass again. Bitch, you sound stupid. See what I'm saying? Ooh. Grown men say that man, to your child. whatever. You shouldn't have been in there with him. That's he was messing was with us, and you know that's a lie. Ashley, bad. I understand that you this want to my ask life. Your, your mother something. What do you want to ask your mother? Like, do she really love me? Because if you tell no, somebody, you don't, don't give a about them and you show them. I ain't never went through all this. My mama, hey, I love my, my grandma. Mama. Ain't never talked to you and like my you mama to used me. to call me bitches 24 seven. You think because you your know, mama called you bitches, it's okay to call you? That's that's where okay. childhood trauma comes from. I mean, from. it's not. She spent around in a circle at my auntie house telling my grandma, "You don't love me," but I'm bringing up the past. So obviously, you got issues from your past. Where well, you feel my grandma don't love you? No, my, my mama loved me. Okay, so why you told her she didn't in my auntie house when you spent around in the circle crying? Talking about you don't love me, you don't love me, and you don't I love me. I met everybody in the house. I was talking to everybody. My mama wasn't even in the conversation, so. Yes, she was. No, she was. Now you're lying. No, she was. Okay. Okay. Um, Ashley, can I talk to your mom for a little bit? That's fine. Can we go right back? That's fine. Thank you. Regina, come on close. <laughs> All right, so I asked your daughter to leave because I could tell with y'all both being out here, we don't get nowhere. Mm -mm. And I know when I asked you what you're, you said you came out here with the hopes of the relationship being better or having a nice time or figuring something out. That's why I was like, let her leave. Because if that's somewhere in you, that means, I know right now you said she's dead to you, but there's somewhere in you that still had that feeling just a couple hours ago. So that means it's not fully gone yet. I wanna know what hurt you personally about what she just said. Because she went back over 30 years ago. Like, if that bothered you then, why you ain't say nothing to me then? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the new mm -hmm. Let's talk about you. Okay, yeah, I called you a bitch, so what? Everybody in the car, they child a bitch. I'm not the only one. <laughs> she got daddy issues, I get it, you know? I don't think she has daddy issues. I think she has mom issues. What could possibly make Regina see her daughter's pain? On my and that's the same thing she's asking for. Let me give you a hug. <laughs> Let me give you a hug. Find out next. This man's wife says he tried to bite her finger off. He chomped down on my finger. Now she's here to prove her child is really his. Break my neck to do else for you. That's you fine. gonna bring up some over 30 years ago? Bro? How do you get from the past to the you have to take a the past. Past. I understand that for you, the past is not important. But if she's saying it's important to her, why aren't you able just to say, I apologize and because I'm not. You this want is to my ask life. Your, your mother something. What do you want to ask your mother? Like, do she really love me? No, I don't. Ashley, can I talk to your mom for a little bit? Okay, yeah. I called you so what? Everybody in the car, they child I'm not the only one. You said that's what your mother said to you? Yeah. And, yeah. and sometimes you'd be called that? Yeah. D did it make you feel it any It didn't ways bother me. Mm -hmm. It didn't bother me I because I knew that was my mother and that was her way. So you just accepted it? I accepted it. I mean, you know, I know I ain't no bitch. I know I ain't no dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it never bothered me. Mm -hmm. But Ashley can't sit here and act like she had no life because she didn't. Mm -hmm. My kids ain't never wanted for she did say that you gave her support. She oh, said, I did. She I said always you gave her support, support her and still mm -hmm. support her. 
I don't have no problem with helping my children. I would give them the world. Mm -hmm. But what you're not going to do is sit up here and bring up no old that I can't even, I can't. You can't do anything about I can't about do it. anything about that. Yeah, yeah. Internally, there's something else going on. Internally, they want to be protected. She got daddy issues. I get it. You know, her daddy never been in her life, and I never gave, I never gave a damn because mm -hmm. I took care of mine. Yeah, yeah. And I, I never let her want it. Yeah. I still done. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But I don't think she has daddy issues. I think she has mom issues. It couldn't be mom. Yeah, and the reason, and the reason, She's and, stuck this, and this on is me. not, and I'm gonna I, tell you, and this I is not, to, I'm gonna tell you this, and this is not, and the reason I'm, the reason I asked you to be out here alone because, I, what I was doing is I was taking notes, and so I was tracking to see if like you're the horrible mom because I've had horrible moms. I'm serious, and so your language, you can admit, and you know is bad. Oh, I can cut deep. Yes, and you know it. Your and language I will is bad. cut deep. Because I see two issues here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be very transparent with you. And the reason I want to talk to you first is because I do see an issue from childhood and adulthood. I see an adulthood where you become exhausted. And you've been giving and giving. And the relationship to me seems transactional. Where now you feel like she's just asking you to do something. And you do it. And it's not really like she's concerned about you or what you need. Right. Am I hitting that on the nail? Got it. I understand your point of view. But I also understand her point of view, where there's an issue for her where it seemed like when you were younger, that same transactional re relationship was there. Like mom was there, she would support me, but when I'm telling her what I'm feeling, she's not hearing me. And so what you're saying as an adult, she's also complaining about it when she was a child. So you're saying as an adult, like, you come to me with your kids, you're saying this, you're doing this. Yeah, like, give me a break. How often do you feel like she calls you just to say, hey, mom, how you doing? Never. Never. No. And that bothers you. Every time she calls, it's like, when I answer the phone, it's like, what, Ashley? Yeah. Uh, what you doing? Can you come take me to the grocery store? Um, oh, I need to go get the kids that some milk sense. juice. This. That makes sense. And yeah. you're exhausted by it. And I'm tired of that. And it's like, it only uses me for what you want. Man. I get it. But so you, what I'm trying to help you to see here is that the same way right now you're asking for that as an adult, what she's trying to say is that that's what she felt like as a kid. So every time she brings in the past, what it's not is really about the past. It's not about, because I'm hearing this, she started going to stories about peas and all this other stuff. So it's not really about these men. It's not really about these things because what she still needed was mom just to say, I'm sorry this happened. I love you. I didn't have them emotions right then. I, I had left everything I knew, came to a whole nother state, had started all over. I get it. So I didn't have that to give right then. Yeah. I had to worry about my kids and me. I had to grow up yeah. because I was missing my mama. Yeah. But I couldn't call my mama. Yeah. I couldn't say, mama, I need you. I had to stand on my feet. And that's the same thing she's asking for. Let me give you a hug. <coughs> Let me give you a hug. I know. I know. I know. I just want her to be a strong girl and do what she got to do. But there is a piece of the similarity where what you needed in that love, she just, see, that's all she's screaming out for as an adult. And so if you can just acknowledge that, I promise you, this conversation in the past will be gone. You can tell me what words you want to use, because I don't even want to give you the words, because you know, what will you use? I just tell her I love her, and I'm sorry. All right. Can we bring it back up? And thank you for sharing that. Thank you, too. Um, thank you for coming back. Your mother and I had a talk. Can you be open just to hearing what she has to say? We talked about some stuff. She wants to tell you something. I apologize. I'm sorry, and I love you. I love you more. Mom and I talked about the past. What's making you emotional right now? She never told me sorry before. This is the first time you ever heard it. And if you can accept it today, y'all can be on a path. So can you accept her sorry yeah, today? I can accept it. Do you hear that?
Is this a step where y'all can now start moving forward and for you that you feel like the past has been acknowledged? Yeah. So I'm gonna leave this here. At least you were acknowledged for the past and at least we've started the conversation to open up to show how you feel. And I believe that there's a lot of love here and I believe that with some work, this could, relationship could be even better. I wish y'all the best of luck, all right? You wanna give your daughter a hug one more time? Give her a hug one more time. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Y'all gonna be all right. This man's wife says... I kept saying, Taz, please stop. I'm eight months pregnant. He tried to bite her finger off. He chomped down on my finger. Eight months pregnant. Eight months pregnant. Now she's here to prove her child is really his. Sneaky conversations on the phone. And you won't believe how this all involves his mother being murdered. You are the cop. Get off my stage. Sierra says her husband, Taz, turned into a different person three years ago after his mother was murdered. Taz started accusing her of cheating and almost bit her finger off during one of their arguments. Now he's claiming her one-year-old son may not be his. They're here today to unlock each other's phone and to solve this DNA mystery. So first, let's talk to Sierra. Everyone, please welcome Sierra to the show. <laughs> Hi, Sierra. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. You look really beautiful. Thank you. Have a hug? Yes. You look very pretty. Please take a seat for me. Okay. So what happened the night Taz tried to bite your finger off? Um, so I was eight months pregnant with our son. Yes. And um, he had been drinking. Um, and normally he only gets, like, aggravated whenever he's drinking. And so we got into a heated argument because his mother's money had come up missing. Mm. And um, he thought that I had something to do with it. We kind of split up and then got back together. So during this incident, um, he was accusing me of being a part of that. Mm. And so we had gotten into a little scuffle. Um, I threw a PlayStation at him. He threw it back at me. He kept mm. pushing me down to, to, to the floor. And so I kept saying, Taz, please stop. I'm eight months pregnant. I put my hand up like this right here to kind of stop him from, yeah. from shoving me again. And he chomped down on my finger. And I'm saying, Taz, please let me go. And I'm crying. I'm saying, Taz, please let me go. And he says, shut up. Just shut up. He says, shut up or else I'll bite the, the, the thing off. Um, the police was called out there. During that time, um, neither one of us pressed charges on each other. A couple months later, I get arrested for domestic violence, second degree. They put it as a second degree because Taz had told the officer that I tried to choke him whenever all I did was try to stop him from shoving me down. Eight months pregnant. Eight months pregnant. So after that night, let me just be clear, he then, even though y'all didn't press charges that night, he then went back to the police. No, no. So in the police report, in the police report, he had put that I had choked him. Oh, so when they were reading, the police came right. back after reading the police. Right. Okay. Wow. So when did these issues start between you and Taz? Um, so Taz and I got together in September of 2019. His mother was murdered in March of 2020. Got it. Um, so what happened there is Taz started doing drugs mm. and drinking a lot and his mother had left him a good you know chump sum of money and so he was taking that and he was buying whatever he wanted to to try to help him cope with mm -hmm. his mother being murdered the more I tried to help him the more he resisted Got it. Um, whenever Taz and I are good we're good and so whenever he started doing drugs I'm not gonna lie I did a bump every once in a while you know what I mean I hit the pipe every once in a while but it was never a constant thing mm -hmm. and um, he got really, really out of control with it, where it continued to be a constant thing, where, you know, um, he was accusing me of cheating. He grabbed me by my face, shoved me up against the, the um, bedroom closet door. Um, how does he accuse you of cheating? How often? Yeah. All the time. All the time. All the time. Mm. Um, and are these, these violent outbreaks usually accompanied with the accusations? Um, it used to be. Okay. It used to be where it, be, it would become physical. Mm -hmm. But I think now as we've matured through our marriage, I think that we've kind of learned how to separate ourselves. Although there'll be times whenever he tries to entice me to hit him, but I kind of just walk away now instead Good. of, you know, okay. egging it on. So why do you think Taz has the doubts about this being his baby? Because he always thinks that, that I'm sneaking around on him or I'm cheating on him or because I've left him so many times mm -hmm. that he believes that he's not the father of our son. Got it. 
Have you ever cheated on Taz? No. Never? Never. At all? Okay. In addition to the DNA test, we're also unlocking everyone's phone, correct? Because mm -hmm. you told my unlock the, yeah. You told my unlock the phone investigators that you want to know if Taz is talking to other women, specifically on TikTok. Yes. What's going on there? So, maybe about eight months ago, I had sent him some money on Cash App. He took my money and he sent it to this girl on TikTok. And the next morning I get up, I get on his TikTok and the girl says, good morning, my love. I said, hey, I said, this is Taz's wife. She says, well, we can both have him. I said, I, said, I don't get down like that. Hello. I got a question for you. So when she said you can both have him, why did you say you can keep him? Uh, because I love Taz and, 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 and I, I keep, him. yeah, okay. and I keep hoping that what we initially had will, will be that again, which is why I'm here because I need help. To, to salvage my, my marriage before there's nothing left to salvage. I understand. So we are also unlocking your phone so you can prove to Taz that you are not cheating. Right. Okay, then. Well, it's time to hear from Sierra's husband. So everyone, please welcome Taz to the show. <laughs> hey, Taz. How you doing? Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Take a seat for me. <laughs> All right. So how do you feel about what was just said? I mean, she she leaves out bits and pieces like she does with anything. I have doubts because of her leaving me in the past and. But I've left you on 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 good reasons. Not all of them was good. You just start a fight, and then when we get into it, now you got a bill. You know what I mean, even though you started it, you still bail. So when I started, you bail. So I expect that already. Did you really try to bite off Sierra's finger? It's a marriage that's turned violent. She done scratched my eye up. So yeah, I reached back up and I... Does it all have to do with his mother being murdered? I don't look at people of the world the same. Or is it possible his wife's child belongs to another man? We had gotten into a little scuffle, pushing me down to, to, to the floor. And so I kept saying, Taz, please stop, I'm eight months pregnant. I put my hand up like this right here to kind of stop him from, yeah. from shoving me again. He chomped down on my finger. He says, shut up or else I'll bite the thing off. So why do you think Taz has the doubts about this being his baby? Because he always thinks that, that I'm sneaking around on him or I'm cheating on him or because I've left him so many times mm -hmm. that he believes that he's not the father of our son. Did you really try to bite off Sierra's finger? Uh yeah, I gripped a hold of it, yes. but I didn't try to bite it off, honestly. Like, but I you just had a had tight a grip, grip on her yeah. finger. Mm. She done scratched my eye up. My, my... Why, though? Because you was poking <laughs> me in my face, and I kept saying, Taz, stop, Taz, stop. So yeah, I reached back up, and I did like that, and I accidentally jabbed you in your eye. You still do that. <laughs> so you, she still does it now to this day, you know what I mean? Mm. And instead of getting physical, I say my little words, and... You walk away. Yeah. Okay, Most but 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 it's not just little words. Like he'll call me a, th a thought. He'll call me a. C he'll call me a bitch. He'll tell me I'm stank. Mm. So it makes you think that Sierra's been unfaithful, though. I can go to the bathroom for five minutes, and she'll be on the phone before I leave the room, and she'll have a little smirk as soon as she know I'm there. Put her phone down, and then that's the end of that. Mm. And then she'll walk off to finish what she was doing in the room. Now that I'm in that room. Got it. But that's like not she... even true. That's not even true. It is. It is. What's the truth then? Half the time, Taz has my phone. I have no password on my phone whatsoever. At any point in she time, just recently started. At, at any point in time, Taz could could go through my phone. Did your relationship change after your, the death of your mother? In your opinion? Yes. Yeah. In what ways? I don't look at people of the world the same. Everything is basically here. And. It can get going at any moment, so I don't try to hold on to it mm -hmm. as much as I used to. So do you think this baby was yours at first, correct? Yes, at first, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like what, before my mother and my grandmother died, they were like, you need to settle down and have a child because you're just moving around too much to say you're going to settle down one day. Yeah. So then when I heard that she was pregnant, you know, I already took care of her two, her two other kids since they was little, so you know what I mean? I got one of my own now, finally, so that's that something I could, you know what I mean? Yeah. They brought to me, you know, 
Yeah. But God, yeah. but yet you deny him because his characteristics change. Yeah, I deny him because the characteristics change because uh, going back to the stuff you do. Like, and whenever you talk to to your family members, you'll be like, oh well, well he's he's the mailman's baby. This is why I say it's all in his head because we'd be riding down the road and I'll look over in somebody's yard and there just so happens to be somebody outside. Mm. He'll be like, D do you want to go back there? Mm. Okay. Okay. It'll be dudes. Yeah. But I don't even know <laughs> these people, Taz. I don't but, even know these people. So why people. are you staring if you don't know them? Are you, are, you close, are you close to your son? Potential son? Yeah. He, 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 I love him. I love, I love he's him. He's a great dad. father. So you love, him, you love him? I love him. You love him a lot. Like, have you been faithful to Sierra? Yeah. You have been. Yeah. Other than TikTok? Other than TikTok. Okay. What happened there? Well, when it came to her, uh, we was talking for a little bit. We ain't been nothing serious like that. She sent me some money, so I sent her money okay. using her money because I didn't Why did my she send you yet. money? It's not because I, I know a lot of people who do uh, financial interactions through social media like TikTok or anything else, and normally it's never a girl sending a guy money. That's. That's never a case that I've heard. It's very rare. So I'm, I'm confused with why she decided to send you money. Lunch. Got it. So are you still talking to this girl on TikTok at all? Okay. I don't talk to no females on TikTok, no. None. Okay. Before we get into the DNA outcome, Taz, you want the phones to lock? So I think we should get to unlocking the phones Alrighty. first. Okay. <laughs> if you want to know Sierra is speaking to any other men, his wife's phone will be unlocked. Two suspicious pictures. Her husband's phone will be unlocked. I get real nosy yeah, after yeah, I look And a DNA test will be unlocked. We have still this DNA outcome. Don't miss the reason why this marriage will change forever. You are the fuck. You're the first thing. So what makes you think that Sierra's been unfaithful, though? She'll be on the phone before I leave the room. As soon as she know I'm there, put her phone down. So you think this baby was yours at first, correct? Yes, at first, yes. Before we get into the DNA outcome, Taz, you want the phones unlocked? You want the phones unlocked? So I think we should get you unlocking the phones All right. first. All right, Taz, you told um, the Unlock the Phone investigator that you want to know if Sierra is speaking to any other men in this envelope is the answers. And Sierra, you told my Unlock the Phone investigator that you want to know if Taz is speaking to other women on TikTok. We're gonna lock your phone first, Sierra. <laughs> so, Taz, you want to know if Sierra is speaking to any other men. She says she's not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched her texts, her DMs, and her phone, and she... Found nothing. It's telling the truth. We didn't find anything Told anywhere you. on her phone of her talking you. to anyone at all. I wouldn't cheat on you. How do you feel about that? I'm happy. Good. I'm, I'm real happy. I'm... Good. So you know that this relationship is real, and you know that she's not doing anything. So you at least have clarity on that. And you've been calling her names and accusing her. Do you feel like you owe her an apology? Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> listen, listen. This is why I love. This is why I love my crew here. Okay. This is why I love it. Who said that? Shut, girl, I see you. Because let me tell you, what's about to come out of my mouth was the same exact thing. That was the apology. She, she, she deserves a lot more than that because we've searched, we search, search, search. She deserves a lot more of an apology there. Yeah. All right, well, listen, it's time to unlock the truth again. Taz, it's time to unlock your phone. All right. So, Sierra, you want to know if Taz is speaking to any other women specifically on TikTok. He says he is not. My Unlock the Phone investigators searched his apps, and he is telling the truth. Yes, I love you. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you this. He follows a lot of women on TikTok. Yes, he does. I will does. tell you, he follows a lot of women on TikTok, but there is no communication at all. So, then my Unlock the Phone investigators to search his DMs, and he is telling the truth. You being faithful? 
<laughs> now, you want to know if Taz is speaking to any other women? He said he is not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched his texts and found two suspicious pictures. Now, I have an evidence bag. These are two explicit photos from two separate women that were texted to him within this year. They were deleted. So now let me tell you, one of the things when we, because we're able to find things that are deleted on this show, so if you delete it. Well, the problem is when phones, when things, messages are deleted, it separates his reply and the message. So we see the message, but we don't see exactly what the reply is. So I can't confirm if he replied to these or not. But these are the two women, and I just want to confirm, are, are these you? We say it is, yeah. Are these you? Mm-mm. OK. Oh. No, that's not something Not show the photos. Let me find out the crew freaky, too. Y'all freaky, too? <laughs> yeah, but who are these from? I've never even seen these girls before. Me neither. If it was deleted, then you've definitely seen it. I mean, I looked at it because it got sent to me, but he ain't from no female. Got it. OK. OK. Got it. You know what? I think he's telling the truth. OK. OK. Because I do remember a while back in his gamer, um, his gamer text messages, they were sending photos yeah. like this to each other. OK. OK. So you might be telling the truth, because I, I do uh, remember listen, this one. Us usually, I would be like, you're naive here, but I'm I don't have, no, listen, I, like I snoop. <laughs> I snoop. Yeah, yeah. I get, I get real nosy yeah, and I start yeah. looking, see, see, but I he, couldn't find it. So that's the only reason right now I can't give you. I'm sure you surprised yeah, I, that you found me. I got a group, uh, and, uh, my group, that's, that's what. Yeah, and they are, send I, stuff I, like I wanna know, that. Are you surprised I even found these? Yeah. You are. Yeah. I'm telling y'all, y'all yeah. need to be to lock somebody's phone. Y'all better come on the show. I will find it, all right? Like when you say this. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so listen, I, I'm just happy. You now know there's a solid relationship here. You have it. She's not cheating. He's not cheating. So at least you have some clarity here. And I'm hoping that can give you a little bit of a foundation to know at least something solid. But now we have still this DNA outcome. You're questioning if this is your child. Right. You have said that you felt like she was cheating, like she was doing things. You know now she wasn't, but does that yeah. give you clarity on what could be in this envelope? Yeah. Okay. Kinda, yeah. Okay. Here you go. How will the DNA outcome change this troubled marriage? Your mother being murdered, and I'm so sorry about that. That is affecting the way you see the world and affecting your relationships. Find out next. Unlock your phone first, Sierra. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched her texts, her DMs, and her phone. We didn't find anything Told anywhere you. on her phone I of her talking you. to anyone at all. I wouldn't cheat on you. Taz, it's time to unlock your phone. My Unlock the Phone investigators found two suspicious pictures. If it was deleted, then you've definitely seen it. I mean, I looked at it because it got sent to me, but he ain't from no female. Got it, okay, okay, got it. You know what? I think he's telling the truth. You now know there's a solid relationship here. But now, we have still this DNA outcome. You're questioning if this is your child. Right. Read it out loud, because I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Taz is Taz is Jr., your biological father. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> <laughs> so now, do, do you feel better about everything? Do, do, do you feel as if this has helped you. us a lot? I, love you. I hope so, because because I don't I don't like constantly defending myself. Okay. Love you too. You took you're here to cause uh, my makeup. Yeah, clear. I know. I mean, <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> again, you now have something more solid as well. Yes, sir. You have a child. So. <laughs> That's yours. That's yours. <laughs> but at least now you know you have a woman who's standing by your side, and y'all have done the work. I've been tracking it. Y'all are doing the work slowly but surely to be healthier, which is what it's about in a relationship. Are you talking? Are you trying to figure out how we can grow to be better? And y'all are doing that for each other. Yes. My advice to both of you right now is that I'm really happy that the abuse has stopped and that y'all are out of that. 
Um, obviously, there's still a lot of trauma that has happened from yeah. your mother being murdered, and I'm so sorry about that. That is affecting the way you see the world and affecting your relationships. Yeah. Um, you know, when you started talking about that, it, it started to break my heart yeah. because I can see, and I think you already know, that there is still pain lingering there because you just said you feel like anything that comes to you can be taken away at any moment. So if you feel that way, why would I care about a relationship? Why would I care about anything at all? Sure. So hopefully this can be the starting point fully where you can say, I got real stuff in my life. I got family. I got people who love me, who are going to be there for me, who are yes, going to rock with me, who are not going anywhere. And y'all can start building together in the healthiest way. Yes, sir. I wish y'all the best of luck. Oh, Thank geez, you. Just don't keep leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I really do wish y'all the best of luck. Thank, Thank you. Good luck and congratulations. All right, friends. Thank you for being with us. Come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all. Good luck. Let me give y'all a hug.